I finally got myself a fidget spinner. Let's open it up and take a look. So I guess you just hold it and, oh, okay, I can, I can see why that is quite popular. It's basically, it's a little handheld gyroscope. That's awesome. The question now is how fast can one of these possibly go? So the fidget spinner produces a slight hum as it spins. So what we can do is get a spectral analyzer and see if we can pick up the frequency it's spinning at. So this is just my phone. I have a spectral app on here. We have the frequency it can pick up on the horizontal axis in Hertz and we have how loud that frequency is on the vertical axis. So if I whistle, there we go, one little spike. Or if I try and generate more of a humming tone, you get lots of harmonic spikes. I'm never gonna do that again. Okay, now I set it spinning and we'll pick up with the frequency how fast it's going. So. I think the problem is this is simply not going fast enough and it's not stable enough. Pint glass and some blue tack. Ugh, that. Now I've seen my fair share of YouTube videos. I know how to make something spin fast. You used compressed air. I haven't got an air compressor, but I have got a can of pre-compressed air that turns out you can just buy off the internet. I've also seen enough videos to know how this goes wrong. So I have a safety shield for my face. So I'm gonna use the compressed air to speed up the fidget spinner and then we'll try and get a frequency reading of just how fast it is going. Here we are. Ah, oh, that's not so bad. Okay, here we go. So uh, to make it a little bit clearer what's going on, I'm gonna switch from this view, which gives you all of it at once, to a wonderful rolling spectrogram view. So now we get uh, time scrolling along, we get intensity uh, in terms of color and frequency on the vertical axis this time. So we should see a solid bold line for the main uh, frequency and then we'll see the harmonics stacked on top of that. So let's give it another go. Right, this is the main event. I'm recording the data. I'm gonna set it spinning because this is our serious trial. It's time for maximum speed with two cans. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay, you can see the frequency. There's the main one at the bottom there. Whoa, and it's going up. Come on, faster. Faster. Come on. Come on. Okay, I think that we had a peak there. This is a scale of, ow, okay, um, a scale of uh, zero to 125, 250, and that, I think our peak was about the middle of that top range. So we'll, um, we'll look it up, there we go, and see just how fast we were spinning. Okay, on the playback, let's set it go. There we go, um, I, you, why am I still wearing this? Okay, so this is uh, the playback, and you can see there's our big peak. And so I will pause it there, and you can see the scale goes zero to 250, and I'd say that's pretty much spot on three quarters of the way up. Three quarters of 250 means it was going about 187.5 hertz. But we've now got our frequency. Now here's the thing about the fidget spinner, it's got three lobes and uh, the air's hitting each one as it goes by, so I'm going to divide that 187.5 by three, 62.5 hertz. So now we just need to know how fast the tips of the spinner were going. Radius of four centimeters. Two pi times 
four centimeters times 62.5 times a second means that the tips of my fidget spinner were going 1,571 centimeters per second. Let's convert that into some better units. It equals 15.7 meters per second, which is 56 and a half kilometers an hour. Don't worry, people who don't understand real units. That is 35.1 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. And bear in mind that 62 and a half hertz of this thing spinning is 3,750 revolutions per minute. So we're talking like engine speeds and the tips of it are going pretty fast. I mean, not outrageously fast, but pretty fast for a toy. So that is how fast you can get a fidget spinner going. Do get one of the spectral apps. Uh, there are free versions available. You can have a play with them, have a look at what happens when you sing or, or record different notes and frequencies and things moving into them. It's kind of a, it's a gateway activity to Fourier analysis. So I highly recommend it. As always, thank you so much to everyone who watches and um, likes and everything else these uh, videos. And of course, subscribe to the channel, blah, blah, blah. I'm not really paying attention anymore because I've got one last if it works, uh, gyroscopic thing. I'm gonna see if I can get some gyroscopic precession. I don't know if I can get it going fast enough, but um, we'll give it a go. Oh, let's put it, let's put it on a GoPro. All right, now, now this is a YouTube video. Here we are. Come on. Come on. Can you shut the can? Yes! <laughs> sort of.